YouTube back again with another video. Today I teamed up with my boy Jared. What's and up guys? We're downtown Salt Lake at a local uh, shop called Top Shelf. Down here, great shop. Come check it out. If you're ever in Salt Lake, this is the spot to be. Brand new shop, my buddy Jordan just opened this place up. Uh, it's been open about a month now and already it's like doubled in size as far as inventory. Things are looking really good. So it's nice to have another shop in Salt Lake. Salt Lake is a little bit uh, short on, on some of the stuff. It is. Work, but definitely we have, definitely have a community here. Guys behind. like this. So here we are. So today we kind of want to go over a few subjects. Uh, we know that this is a real touchy subject. Um, the first thing we want to get across is that we're not attacking anybody. Um, we're not going to be really, you know, expressing our opinion like it's the right opinion or the wrong opinion. We just kind of want to put a little bit of content out there and see what you guys think about it, how you guys feel. Um, so the first thing I think we're going to dive into is fake sneakers. I mean, it's the number one topic in every single sneaker group. It's the number one topic at every sneaker con. I mean, you can't go anywhere that has to do with hype clothing, sneakers, and no one mentioned fake. Uh, it's constantly, you constantly get asked, is this fake, is this not fake? I need a legit check. Legit check, always Const legit check. Constant, constant, and, and it's, as, as everybody knows, it gets harder and harder to tell, so legits are just a part of the, part of the game now. Right, and I think a lot of people just take offense to it. I yeah. think it's really is when someone's calling your, you know, when they say, oh, we need to get that legit check. Yeah, or, yeah. Let's take it and have my boy legit yeah. check it. And no matter how confident you are in your product, you know, whether it be a Supreme sweater or a pair of, you know, just anything, any sneaker, any hype sneaker, you, you are for sure that it is 100% authentic, but the guy buying it is still going to want someone right. he knows to, to legit check it. So I just want to kind of go over some points. What makes a sneaker fake? And this, I, is, this is going to be important, right, for the rest of the conversation. Right, this is the most important. Defining what, what fake is. Because this part is not an opinion. It's not my opinion, it's not his <laughs> opinion, it's not your opinion. This is basically just facts. So, to me, when I don't even like using the word fake sneaker, first of all. Because even if it's a not, a, a, an unauthentic pair of Jordans, it's still a real sneaker. It's real leather, it's real rubber, it's just a fake Jordan because one, it didn't come from the Jordan factory. I mean, let's all we can all agree on I, that. I right? hate when I hear that. I hate when I hear it came from the same factory. That is not true, you guys. Right. It does not come from the same factory. There might be stuff that gets backdoored from the same factory, but when, when people are making fakes, it's not some company making for Nike and then two months later making some more for themselves. Right. So right. That's not what happens. I agree. That's not what happens. I think most people that just aren't into the sneaker world uh, or sneaker game that in that deep. Yeah. They just say, oh, it all yeah. comes from China. Yeah. I always yeah. hear that. Oh, it all comes from China. Yeah. You know, all from the same guy. But no, guys. It's like saying it all comes from the United States. What does that mean? Right, that right. Mean? So, I mean, let's go over a few things that, that make a shoe unauthentic, fake, right. whatever you want to call it. To me, first thing that comes to mind is that Nike did not pick that material. Okay. Like, they didn't go in and Or Adidas say, or whoever. Right, whoever. Yeah. Whoever's building the shoe, they go through whoever supplies the material they go through and buy that material and right. say, okay, this is what we're going to build. And there the are out. dedicated employees who spend their whole day, right. yep. their only job is Picking to out pick material. that material and not just that color, that exact material. I mean, that's their job. Right. They, they, they give it a quality control stamp. So it's not like there's just, hey, we want a green one. There's a guy dedicated right. to that green. Exactly. So to me, the leather, the materials, everything has to be signed off by Nike. I mean, that pretty much in a nutshell explains it. If, if Nike didn't sign off right. on it, it didn't go through the front door. It didn't get that final stamp from Quality Check. If it didn't come up from the website or a store right. that's that carries that's you know that has a tier account with these these uh, these shoe uh, companies, then it's pretty much not authentic. Okay, I, mean, I agree about one hundred percent. So yeah. again, this isn't an opinion. This is kind of I mean that's as factful as it gets. That's right. That's so, right. Um, so with that being said. Let's move into... But, 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 but that's one other thing I want to add, okay? okay? And I, I think that the term fake, and, and talk, you call me out if you think I'm okay. wrong, okay? I think that when we say something's fake, a fake sneaker or fake Supreme or whatever it is, it is made with the intent 
to deceive. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that we got that. That's bad that, intentions. It's made with bad. It's made for the intent to make money. Right. Off something that is not authentic. Right. right. I mean, yeah. Fake, so, so that, that's important. I think you see a lot of these guys, um, and I get a lot of U, uh, UA companies hitting me up to do videos on their sneakers, yeah. which, you know, if you watch my last um, YouTube video, um, I agreed to do it. Of course, it wasn't on their terms. They thought right. I was going to take their shoe and yeah. glorify it. And say how but what I is. did was compare it to a real, right. authentic <laughs> Nike sole Travis Scott and yeah. compared the two, and they were completely different. So uh, they didn't like that too much. <laughs> um, but no, I agreed to it, but I get a lot of UA companies and the first thing they say is they, sh they show their shoe and they show the authentic shoe yeah. and they say, why pay 1200 when you can pay 160? Yeah. But you're seeing it from this distance and you can't see the small right. details that, that right. Nike puts into these shoes. We've talked about the, the smudge marks that they put on the shoes where you can see with a black light. They put stamps, they put yeah. specific stitching on the inside of the shoe, or there's small details I mean, that these companies are missing. Things, they're even doing things like RFID. Right. Trying yeah. to do RFID, trying to incorporate that. Yeah. I don't know how well that's going to work. Probably not anyway, very good. You know, all, all of it can be faked eventually. Right. So, so I mean, there's L5. I'll just throw it out there. L5 is probably one of the best um, UA sneakers is what they call themselves, uh, company in the world. I mean, they basically laugh at Nike on how close their, their yeah, shoes are to Jordan's. Sure. Like, they're basically like, see this, see, I mean, the right. details are, are they, and they, thing is, is they don't put the shoes out early, they wait to get the real shoe, they completely disassemble it, and the materials are pretty much the same, the yeah. stitchings are same, they check the UV lights, they're, I mean, it's scary how good right. they've gotten. Right, right. So, so yeah, definitely, um, so There's a lot of companies out so we got there. we got our definition. So yeah, so these guys are basically saying why pay twelve hundred when you can pay one sixty and make the world think that you have a pair of twelve hundred dollars sneakers right. on your feet. So yeah, that is to me that's bad intention. Which I which I want to and I know this is not isn't exactly what we're talking about, but I want to say I, I guess I don't really care as long as the guy is wearing it. Not trying mean, to sell it to you. Yeah, if he's not trying to sell it to me and he's like, hey, these are fake. I couldn't afford the real ones. Some people say, oh, if you can't afford the real ones, you shouldn't have. Shouldn't be in the game. Look, look. I, I don't care. Right. As long as they're not trying to deceive somebody. If, you, if they're out, they want to wear them. Right. And they're not going around saying, "Look how much money I got." Right. They're just saying, "Hey, I like them. They're fake." Right. I like. Fine. I paid one sixty. They're comfortable. Fine. And yeah. I get it. And there's a lot. And that, that's probably a good topic too. Is a lot of people, you know, I see on the blogs and the sneaker groups. Um, if you can't afford the real one, pick a different style. But who are we to tell people yeah. what to like and yeah. not like? You you know as much as I do. When a shoe comes out. And you like it? There's no going back. Like you already in love That's with it. Right. You can't fall and you can't stop what you fall yeah. in love with. Yeah. I and mean, there's been sneakers that come out like the Chicago Off Whites. Once yes. I first seen the Off Whites, <laughs> I was in love with them. For sure. Any color that came out, you know, in the Jordan Ones, I wasn't in love with all the Off Whites. Um, but the Jordan Ones, I was like, I couldn't help it. Yeah. You know. Third, and third six years. Once I seen that price, I tried to get away from it and be like, oh, that shoe, you know, yeah. whatever. That shoe's yeah. not. But now I'm slowly getting in my collections. For sure. So I thought we what we all do. So you can't tell people switch their style, you know. Oh, you shouldn't be rocking this if you can't afford it. That, that we we can't tell people like it just it doesn't yeah, work it, like that. And, so. I, and I know I'm gonna get some hate on the comments for for my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know people are gonna can't say can't please everybody because, because the and the fact is like fake support, maybe some other unlawful activities. I'm not gonna get into all right, that. Right. So that's a whole different subject. Right. I get it, but the fact is is they're here and me. Me not buying fakes is not going to stop the fake community from. I mean, from there's also there there has to be a huge community buying unauthentic sneakers because For sure. there's so many companies pushing out thousands. I mean, was it last month that that huge boat got? Oh, like, yeah, it was like it seems a like crazy millions number, yeah. of dollars worth of yeah. fake so stuff. Yeah, so it's like so yeah. there's obviously demand for them. So it's like. You know, who's buying these shoes? Who's wearing these shoes? Who are you following on Instagram that has these shoes? And you're not even And caring. you don't even know. You know what I mean? You don't even know. Right. They're, they're, right. they're, they're trying to give you, show you a lifestyle uh, of the rich and famous, and you never know. I mean, I've seen some celebrities wearing fakes. Hey, a lot hey, of celebrities wearing fakes. I mean, fakes. off subject too, but I mean, I've watched that documentary when the basketball players buy fake diamonds because they say they can get away with it because yeah. of who they are. And now they're out there checking your diamonds. Yeah. So you're not even <laughs> now, anyway. now everyone's buying a diamond check. But yes, yeah. back to subject. So back, back, to, our, back to the subject. Uh, yeah. then, uh, then my next topic I wanted to go over was with, uh, with custom sneakers. So when you're painting 
sneakers. So when I first started painting sneakers back in, I'd say like 2011, right. you know, and I didn't have a huge following. Custom sneakers weren't a big thing at that time. There wasn't a lot of people doing it. I didn't know who <coughs> Angelus was. Shout out to Angelus Direct um, for taking care of me on everything. Them guys are amazing. But there was no Angelus that I knew of back yeah. then. So I was using paints that shouldn't have been used. Right, right. I was, I was painting, yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Um, but I would post them of the kicks that I was wearing that day. I didn't post it to say, hey, send me your kicks for me to paint. I wasn't advertising that I was customizing sneakers. Right. It was just literally just a hobby. I want to make my shoes different from the next guy. Right. So right. if I add a little bit more green to the Jordan 4 cash money, you know, added a green midsole. Yeah. And all the hate that I got was like, oh, these are fake. Yeah. Jordan never came with them. I said, okay. I said, this. I break it down for you. I said, all right, the shoe is real. Yeah. I bought it. You know, yeah. I bought the shoe bought from the Jordan. Legit. It, I have yeah. I have the receipt. It came from Jordan. Right, right. The paint that I use is pretty real. I yeah. mean, it's paint. <laughs> so please explain to me what is fake about this shoe. Right. And they just said, all they could come to me was like, oh, Jordan didn't release it this way. Okay. All right, yeah. that's cool. But if my car, my foot got ran over by a car and left a black mark on it, does it make it fake? Like, <laughs> yeah. like okay. it's got a black mark on it. It's, you know, so, and that's how I treated it. But, you know, I got a lot of hate for it. But in my opinion, if you go out and buy a Bentley, and we had this talk earlier, you go out and buy a Bentley, and you buy a white one, and I take it down to the to the nearest uh, paint shop and get it painted black. It's still a Bentley. Yeah. You know, I didn't modify. I didn't take the top, the whole top That's of the right. car off, and plop a tank on top of it and call it a Bentley tank. You or know, whatever. Yeah. I just add a little bit of paint to it. So, you know, I thought, hey, this this isn't making the shoe fake. It's it's painting a real sneaker. Right. It's just changing the outside, changing the color, but it's real materials authenticated by Nike or Jordan or Adidas, whatever I was painting, it was a real shoe. Um, so to me, and you guys might feel different about this as well, and anyone that's on my live, if you have any opinion about that, you know, painting a, a sneaker, you know. I think we're in agreement. Right? I think we're still 100% agreement. I, I think we've, cut, we've gotten our wires crossed. Okay, yet. or not yet, Yeah. yeah but maybe. it's gonna happen. Maybe. It's gonna happen, maybe, maybe. Yeah. maybe. So our next topic, and again, this one might be a little bit more touching. We definitely want to get across that we're not attacking anybody. And, and I want to give across, I, I am not a customizer. So this guy at the customizer, he knows. I, I'm just, I'm really just here giving my, my opinion. Right. And it's a, a very, guy. very good yeah. opinion. This guy has been in this game. For a he long makes time. huge moves in this game. So this isn't like he's a nobody. So his, his opinion counts. That's why I, I asked him. So. That's why I asked him to be here, you know? Um, and, and, and this guy, he, he's been in the game, so. Appreciate that. So again, though, we want to make sure that, you know, any names that we mention is we're not cloud chasing. No we're not calling anyone out. I'm not telling anyone that anything's fake. We just want the topic to be out here and see what you guys think. Right. Um, right. But well, I will express my opinion, but again, I'm not going to express it like it's right or wrong. Yeah, You're yeah. wrong if you don't think like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what this is about. Fair enough. We just want to get what you guys think. This video is a whole purpose to start up a conversation between your friends at the next shop or uh, in, in, the, yeah. in, in one of the blogs or the sneaker groups. Right. Share this video. See what they think about it. See if, if they got some, some input that might maybe change my aspect yeah, of it. Yeah. So, this subject is about recon decon. This is, man, I'll tell you right now, the dudes that I'm about to mention, your guys' work is, I don't want to swear, but I almost did it, is amazing. Amazing. I have been trying to get down what you guys do for years. You right. know, I, there's always that one thing in my mind where I was like, how do I get from painting sneakers yeah. to making sneakers? Right, right. I bought the sewing machine. I bought, you know, I bought yeah. materials. Yeah. I was ready to go there. Um, so the guys, number one, shoe surgeon. Okay. The right. guy's work is amazing. It is. It is. I, I, I love the shoe surgeon. In fact, I wanted to take the class. Right. I, I love his stories. I mean, was it three grand or something? Yeah. I was five, like, three, I'm going to do grand it and make your own pair. Yeah. I was like, I still would do it. I right. Think, hey, to be honest, so, I, I inquired about I, it. I, I think I met him at SneakerCon one time. No, no, it was at ComplexCon. And, okay. And anyway, yeah, amazing stuff. I mean, right, and his story is huge. From him yeah. to, to, to overcome the battles that he faced in his life. So shout out to him. For and sure. again, this is not me attacking you because I'm a fan. Right. I'm right. a fan, but this is strictly the subject we're talking about, so we have to keep yeah, facts yeah. in order. So 
We have Hoop Fresh is another dude. I've seen yeah. some of his work in person, his heel tap swaps. I've seen his, uh, his uh, satin Chicago's that he did with that Don't Crease. His work is amazing. So again, I'm not calling you out and I'm not bashing anybody's right. name. Your work is amazing. Um, DMC Customs, I want to say it is. Yeah. Uh, um, I might have that wrong, but dude, he does some, um, he uses some uh, dragon material, some Chinese material. You know yeah. me, I'm always yeah, yeah, yeah. into Asian stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So you're talking he about. uses a lot of that stuff yeah. on the ones. He just did the day, uh, the. Um, did he do the 11s too? Did he do the 11s with the... Anyway, I think I'm not I, sure. I'm I not sure. I he does a lot of dope shoes. Yeah. He did the Day of Day of the Dead ones. Okay, I've seen um, those. He's done some dope work. He comes from a family of uh, cobblers. Okay. So his grandpa, sense. his dad, right. um, if I got the story right. But I know his family, he comes from cobblers. Sure. So this is kind of in his realm, but he's taken what... He's taken their traditional yeah. work and, and to the next brought step. in at George, which, yeah. dude, when I first seen him and heard his story, I was like, God, why couldn't my dad yeah. be a cobbler? Why couldn't <laughs> be my grandpa? That. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> right, so, right. dude, dope story. Again, not calling anyone out. But I have to say this. This is a conversation that I've had with many people. Many people come to me and ask me how I feel about it. There's no room on YouTube for this conversation. Like, I go and look for it. No one's talking about sure. this, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Okay, I'm do doing it. this completely out of respect. I want that to be known. There is no disrespect here. I'm not calling anyone out. We're just going by we, facts. So we've established it. We're, we're just throwing it out. So, let's so it. someone asked me, "What's a fake sneaker? Yeah. Do you think sneaker surgeon or shoe shoe surgeon who fresh these guys? What do you think of their shoes?" And I say, "They're awesome." but they're basically a fake. So they're basically a fake. When you accuse the guy in China that is replicating shoes, and they also make two, they're not just replicating, because I know someone's gonna come back and say, hey, well, they're replicating a shoe that already exists. Right. China also makes, they made one of my shoes. They made my, my, my uh, Yeezy uh, Jordan 4 custom I did. Right. Once it blew up, they ended up making, making it. it. So yeah. they just make whatever's popular. They That's make their right. own sneakers. They don't just replicate. You know, they make their own sneakers. So, when someone says he's using his own materials, they're not authorized by Nike. They're, you know, these shoes aren't real because they're not authentic by Nike, so, whatever. So right. when you tell me that, that someone goes out, any of the guys that we just mentioned, and there's plenty more out there. There's, you know, Bespoke is one too, awesome work. Yeah. They're grabbing their own materials because the same guy that sells to them also DM me one day and asked me if I want to buy some prints that I right. see on their pages that they've used. <laughs> Elephant letting me probably use well. Yeah. They hit you up and they say, hey, I, I, I sell to Hoop Fresh or I right, sell to right. Shoe Surgeon or I would you like to buy they some materials? The, they throw the name out there. Of course, oh. so they got some credibility right. 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 and they say they buy it from me and they build their own yeah. shoes. Now to me, that's what a fake sneaker so, is. So here's where... so. Where we slightly differ, I think. Right. Okay. This is and, where the wires cross. And so, and it comes back to so we talk about the definition of fake, right? The only thing that that to me doesn't meet is the intent to deceive. Right. Now, because he's not going out there saying Nike, this is a Nike whatever. Jordan although, one. although, let me chime in real quick. Okay. His I last know, post. I know what you're gonna say. His yeah. last post of that canary off white, which was dope. Yeah. Dope, because I've been waiting for a yellow sneaker right. to come out forever. He did say Nike yeah. Jordan 1 Off-White Canary Yellow. Yeah, and, and that's where I, I think I have trouble, and I think Nike and everybody else would have trouble with it. And I think John's point is that it gets overlooked. Like, yes, it is I getting that's overlooked. that's your point. Your yes. point is that, that, I think we agree, he, okay, fake. We've just find that right. he's not intending, he's not trying to deceive people by saying right. this is the actual thing. Right. But, but it is technically, I guess, a fake sneaker. Right. Now, what I wear, what I wear, I'd wear it, but that, I'd right. be wearing a fake sneaker, I guess. So, and but, this is where it comes to, and, and you know, a lot of people coming to my man 2J's. Okay, we yeah. both fans of 2J Kicks. He's a good dude. Yeah, I like I, 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 Cool yeah. cat. We both agree. I've known him for, well. Since he first opened the store, he's always treated me right. Right. Always treated me good, and um, and of course, it's just blown up. We've had some. Yeah. We've had you know the Kylie Jenner fours that we have authenticated by him. You yeah. Know, good yeah, dude. That's right. Straight good dude. So you want? So everyone wants to come at him for having some kid Travis Scott 
shoes yeah, in the shop. Yeah, or, what, or he, what was it, the off-white kid? Yeah, or whatever the kid's it was. Yeah. basically a fake sneaker, but a kid's size. So yeah. everyone thinks, okay, just because it's a kid's, it's okay. It, it's good. And right. I don't know what his thought process, so I don't want to assume anything, and I don't want to put words in his mouth, but people came at him for that. I did, they did. And all these people say, F fakes. I don't F with fakes. Yeah. I don't F with anyone that rocks fakes. If right, you rock right. fakes or you're selling fakes, I'm done with you. Right. So you're die hard against fakes. <laughs> right. These people that I'm talking about, I'm not saying myself. Sure. If you're so hard, die hard, and not, I can call out a handful of people that oh. I'm not going to mention because that's not what this video is about. They talk all this trash about what happened at 2 J store, but yet I see you liking shoe surgeon's posts, poop brushes posts. Which are essentially the same the thing. Same There's thing. a guy in China that's replicating the Travis Scotts and the off-whites in a kid's size. Fair enough. That's not an authentic shoe, but yet you're so against them, so. but then you like something else that's being made. So I think that's your main point is that, okay, it's made by a guy in China, right. some Chinese man or, who, or woman or whoever, right. and, and it's bad. But if it's made by this guy here in Locally. America, it's okay. Right. And, and I get your point. I, I mean, you can't, it's hard to argue. Right. right? It's hard right. To, because he's overseas. I mean, yeah, maybe the quality's not there. Maybe it's not. But I don't I mean, know. I've, I've been sent a few UA pairs of shoes. Yeah. And the UAs that I got, they were, as far as I mean, replicating, they weren't good. Some the of the colors UAs were, were better off, than the original. But as far as the shoe being the way it was made, the glue, yeah. 100% better than what Jordan has put out. Like, them Travis Scott sixes on my last video, <laughs> that shoe was put together so well. <laughs> yeah, there was no, there was no glue, there was no, no nothing. It was right. perfect. Right. I mean, it was completely off. It was a horrible, right. horrible replica, right. but a great shoe. So, with that being said, if you're telling me that it's okay because the quality is better here in the U.S. than the guy in China, or maybe you might say, well, that guy's building thousands of sneakers versus maybe right. the shoe surgeon's only making 100 or who is only doing like 25 or whatever. Yeah. To me, that number doesn't change the authenticity. So it comes back to the definition, right? Right. And, and I, I, I can't argue with that because I think the only thing I, I, I'm going to come back to is the intent, the intent to deceive. That's right. it. I, I, the, guy in, the guy in China or the company in China that's making these, they are intending to sell these to deceive somebody buying them in most cases in most cases because everyone that i've dealt with yeah. overseas that has hit me up to do shoes they've always introduced themselves as a ua yeah. seller so they yeah. never came to me and said hey we're making or we're back door pedaling or these okay. are authentic and they're coming out the back sure. door they're not lying to me they're being straight up front and they're saying hey we're a ua company so you know, they're expecting somebody in America to deceive you or wherever, maybe, wherever they Or get maybe them. they're just looking for that crowd that says, hey, I don't care if they're fake, they're 160 bucks. There is a crowd. There's a crowd maybe. out there that does that. I there's mean, always, uh, what do they want to call it? There's always that 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 one exception. For sure. You know what I mean? Always. Yeah. you got to keep that in the back of your mind. Yeah, so. for sure. But, but, but there is one thing I wanted to throw out, okay? And, and, and you'll know about this is, okay, when you do a custom paint job, one thing I, I, I don't always love, and you can argue with me, is fine, you're changing the color, okay, fine. You're okay. changing the material, fine. But when I see a different company's logo put on. Like a Supreme? Like a Supreme. I, or I, Louis someone's Vuitton. brought someone. I, okay. I get this all the time, because they were my number one sellers. Hey, they look great. Right. I like, but right. I, if I was Supreme or Louis, I mean, first of all, they're not going to come after right. the one guy. It, it's, it's, Although, it's shout out to Mackie for that cease and desist. It, it, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You've got that. It's a drop in the bucket. But, and you're not, you're not intending to deceive. I mean, everybody knows. That right. It right. Painted. But it is maybe a, an infringement. Right. Okay. I, I, definitely. Definitely. 100% sort of, I agree with. I agree with that right. being said. When, um, and I've also had someone comment on one of my photos when I did an off-white Jordan, I did the Obsidian one. Um, again, everyone does off-white customs, so don't sit here and say I did it first and not yeah, have nonsense. Yeah. We've all done off-white custom on just different shoes. But when I did that shoe, someone commented like, oh, it's fake off-white. Yeah. And it's like, he's like, you put the off-white logo on it. Well, I'm like, I didn't put a logo on there. Yeah. You know, I just basically chopped up the shoe. And I get what people are saying, but right. the thing is, is like, I'm a type of guy that, okay, he's got the red off-whites, he's got the Chicago's, he's got the UNC's. They're yeah. all dope. I can't afford 20, and this is yeah. where I started from. I can't afford, afford 25 on so I'm gonna take my $160 ones and I'm gonna and, make them, and make them look I'm gonna like make them look right. like an off-white. And right. to me, you know, just by adding a bigger swoosh, putting the font, but I'm not trying to fool anyone, 
because everyone knows off whites didn't come in that color. Yeah. So it's not yeah. like I'm trying to fool anyone. It's not like I took a, a, a Chicago one and tried to do so, one. But there myself. is no intent to deceive. I mean, you're just right. trying. I mean, if somebody came up to you and said, "What is that?" You, you tell them. You right. Say, custom. I, I cut. These are custom. Yeah. Custom. They're legit. The legit pair, but right. I just customize them. Right. So and so, so then I, you know I had someone say, "Well, they're fake off whites." So my next custom yeah. coming soon. I'll drop some photos soon. I actually chopped up a pair of UNC off whites and used authentic parts from another shoe onto another authentic shoe to kind of okay. jump that hurdle. So, okay, so it's maybe Frankenstein. <laughs> exactly. Okay. It's two shoe, two authentic, two authentic shoes, shoes into one. So I mean. That's hard to argue because, you know? yeah, I mean, it's all authentic materials right, right. slammed together. Right? And, hey, yeah. shout out to Nike for the invitation. I went down to the Nike lab in Chicago, oh, yeah. and they hooked me up with a bunch of material. Oh, so I got did. python skin. I got uh, alligator skin all authenticated by Nike. Oh, there you go. So you know what so, I mean? So he's going to be making fakes pretty soon. So, no, I'm just so, <laughs> No, I don't got enough. I got enough <laughs> material to do some swooshes, but at least it's authentic yeah. material. But you know what's crazy is, though, some of the material I got, it matches some of the material I already had. Oh, identical. So I think they maybe just went and bought it somewhere. But hey, I got it from Nike. So, so if it comes, yeah, and it's on film, so, <laughs> so you're, so <laughs> it's legit. legit. All right, you know. But no, right. back to subject. Yeah, yeah. Let's get back to you it. know. We just wanted to put the content out there of like, hey, this possibly could be a fake sneaker. Like, so we want comments. Comment on the YouTube. Comment on our Instagram. We're gonna reply. We're gonna read some of these off here, uh, off of John's Instagram. Just see what people are asking. But, but what is your guys' opinion? I mean, are we wrong? Are we totally off base? Uh, yeah, any input. I mean, I've kind of shed some light on his yeah. thought process, and he's also shown some on me with his comment about, you know, they don't have the intent to fool anyone. Right. Which is a good comment. Right, I mean, that's, right. that's, that's a good way to see thing. it. So I think it changed my mind a little bit, too, um, because I think when we first started talking about this subject, once I kind of laid out the facts, I was so gung-ho that they're fake. Right. They're fake. That's all they're... It, End the conversation. Well, and and you, you made a point to me earlier when you talked about the soul. So I did, that's something I didn't know. I always right. thought, and again, I don't really know. I'm taking your word right. for it. Right. But that that uh, the shoe surgeon yep. used legit soles. And and I think what you're telling me is that may not always be the, the case. That might not always be the case. Yeah. I've came across a few things that where I'm saying, okay, well, this couldn't have came off any shoe. You know what I mean? This wasn't on any Jordan one. So. Right. I have been told that so, they and I and the same guys that you know offer me materials, souls as well. Someone's out here selling them, so okay. Someone is buying them, and so and and the thing is, is it like if you use the soul and change out all the materials? Yeah. I mean, realistically, you just have a soulless a soul. story. Like, uh, soul. Yeah. So if they're using souls that aren't from a legit shoe. Okay, the fake definition comes in again. There's no intent to deceive, so I don't totally buy it. But it is that is a little weird, especially if it says Nike on the right, back. I mean, right. that, that's like I don't know. Somebody tell me is that true? I have no idea. I'm taking John's word for it. Probably he, he would know. He's the customizer. So I'm, yeah, I'm I mean, it, it. it's yeah. definitely uh, you know it depends on how far you want to dig into. I'm sure. I'm sure. What's it's enough of the shoe to make it authentic? You know, ninety percent right. of the materials. Are, <laughs> well, and it's authentic. You, still? you even see listings for you, and it'll say. 90% <laughs> What does that mean? Grade A, you like, know? Yeah. So realistically, you know, because um, I do change out some, some materials. I change out swooshes with right. factory swooshes. Or, uh, sorry, not factory swooshes. From a material I bought from another factory. Like, okay. you know, Joann's or somewhere like that. Like yeah, a yeah. high-quality leather store. When I do my off-whites, I use a really high-end quality material. Right. It's not authentic. But it's just a swoosh, so like 95% of it's authentic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, so I mean, the percentage is, I, I don't. We know there's so many ways to look at this, but we just want your guys' feedback. Yeah. We want this to be a topic because everyone seems to kind of dodge this topic. Again, we didn't want to make it uh, offensive. We didn't want to attack nobody. Not at, all. Not at all. The names that I named is because I highly respect you. That's Number right. one, I respect your work, and trust me, I'm jealous that I can't do it. I've sure. tried to, I, you know, I've had the intent to, but then something stops me, you know. Yeah. Um, so I just kept just stuck to the paint part. What's know? Instagram saying? Let's so, oh, there we go. Let's yeah. see. I've gotten my souls dyed on my gold bones. Which ones are those considered fake? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider wouldn't that fake that. at all. No. Um, it's like stepping in a puddle of uh, punch, fruit punch on your clear translucent soles, right. you know. Or, or, or what if you just walked into some mud? All of a sudden you got right. Some right. right. Now the thread on the yeah. the thread on the on the sole. Everybody's is brown. Everybody's, yeah. So no. no, definitely, definitely don't think it's uh, 
that's gonna make it fake. This guy says, I love bootlegs. That price, you gotta love bootleg prices, right? Well, and, and, and to his point, I mean, like I said, there's an entire Reddit uh, domain or thread. I'm not a big Reddit guy, but I, I look through Reddit. All it is is guys that, hey, they admit they buy fakes. They're not trying to sell them. Right. They're just looking, hey, if you want to get a good pair, buy it from these guys. From this, tell me where the good and, guys are. Yeah, tell me where the good fakes are. Right. And, and I've watched a lot of videos out there that are comparing fakes with authentics just to get some kind of intel on how to do it because I wanted to start well, doing them videos. And it's so hard, too, because... It's it's a lot easier if you have if I have a fake shoe and a real shoe and I'm looking at them side by side. Right. When you get just the fake shoe you can't in there, compare it to nothing. You're like, whew, I gotta pull my memory. I gotta pull yeah. pictures. Like, yeah. I, I mean, there are guys that of course they see them all day long, but right. they can do it. Get but like, for me, if somebody comes up to me, is this legit? I'm like, oh, let me, you know, it's hard to if, say. It's, if it's not something obvious, I gotta like. And it's chest, crazy you know? too because I'll overlook a shoe that I know is legit, and I'll and I'll get online and I'll kind of look at photos of what's what's. You know, fake on this shoe. What are the pointers? Yeah, you know, what yeah. to look out for? And then I'm like, I soak it all in. But then when I get handed a shoe, yeah. it's like it all goes away. I remember this being smaller. Yeah, is this smaller or is this bigger? Right. This right. looks small, but I think it might be bigger. You know, you're Should just this like, be to the right or to the yeah, left. Yeah, you're doubting yourself. Um, and I and I hate giving that opinion if I'm not 100 percent positive right. because it can mess with my reputation, their reputation. So I'm a split say, second can ruin your yeah, reputation. Yeah, so I'm just always kind of. If I don't really know, I'll say. It doesn't look totally right to me. I'm not 100%. Right. But I could be wrong. And again, things. with that being said, too, everyone that attacked 2J Kicks about all this nonsense that's been going around, I don't want to chime too much into it because I want to make it a big deal. But you understand, this man and his employees do this 24-7. Yeah. Everyone is getting fooled. You take some of the biggest guys on Instagram and ask them, have you ever bought a fake on accident or told them I bought fakes. And I bought. have bought. I've been fooled. Yeah, I've gotten you know? before. And so... You guys gotta just relax. Like this dude isn't sitting here saying this is my well, word. Think about the, pr the the percentages. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many he's pulling in a year yeah. as far as shoes. I mean, he's spending millions at the sneaker I mean, con, so it has to be. Yeah, I mean, if you just do the numbers. Huge. I mean, if I if I could meet his fake his ratio of yeah. fake legit, I'd be right. I'd be thrilled. So, so you guys so, got to take that into consideration. I know everyone's out to bash people. Dude, it, ha it happens. I to think the a lot of it came because of people wanted clout. I, I don't right, know. Right. I mean, I'm trying to. I try to avoid all that. I'm a pretty right. down to earth guy, so I just spit out the facts. Right. You know what right. I mean? It's that I how I see it. And same thing. Same with you. Yeah. I really don't to... like to get in the mix. I really don't like to start. You know the the he said she said yeah. or try to start controversy. And that's not what we wanted here. This no. is. We knew it was going to be real controversial, I think, to just do this topic. Um, but I think we, we just kind of planned out how we were going to go about it, um, how to address the people that we were mentioning. Yeah, that's right. As that long as they point. understood that we weren't attacking them, that you know this was strictly a piece out of respect, but a topic that I think that people avoid that I think people need to talk about. Agree. Because I seen that pair of shoe. The first one I seen was at SneakerCon. I seen the, the, the yellow canary. Uh, they were pretty trashed. Uh, the shoe surgeons, they were pretty trashed. The guy said it was an eight, there was more like a five. Yeah, but yeah, the guy yeah. was buying them for like 3,200 bucks or oh something like that. And I'm thinking like, in my head, I'm thinking, bro, you're buying a big sneaker. <laughs> and then, you know, he asked, you know, we were kind of talking about it and I told him my opinion. And he's like, but I can still make money off this. Exactly what he said. I mean, and that's probably true. But to me, that's kind of that's even more to see. Yeah, it really is. I get it. I get it. But again, this is just my opinion. I go off the facts. You tell me what makes a fake, and that fits the guidelines. And guess what? If the shoe fits, it fits. Like <laughs> I get it. I get it. Huge shout out to Top Shelf. Like huge legit. shout out. Come check it out. It. Uh, huge shout out to John for inviting me on his Instagram. Um, shout out to Rockstar, Rockstar Utah, uh, always taking care of me. Shout out Angelus Direct, always taking care of me. Uh, shout out to Jared, you know, uh, you. Uh, we ran into each other at SneakerCon and had a big conversation about this. Yeah. Asked yeah. him if he would uh, team up with me and do this. Uh, shout out to our, our females over here that support us. Big shout out to them because my girl will be shipping you guys' boxes. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, make sure you leave any of your comments, make sure you share, make sure you like, check out John's Instagram, I'll leave it down below, as well as mine. This will be on his YouTube as well. So we'll have all our all our information on there between Give the two of us. Give a subscribe and a follow and some likes. Um, Check out my TikTok as well. We're going to get John going on TikTok here. Just started. He told me TikTok's a yeah. big thing. I think so, it's the next thing. Uh, we'll see. I'll get on it. i got to take some pointers from this guy. I don't know how to make them videos yet. So. Okay. I'll appreciate it, it, man. Awesome, thank man. You. I appreciate right. you. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. You guys.